Today we are back into Summer Cup of Ultra League with Sado Zabdos and it's amazing content coming up in your screens. We're having the region up on the lead while at the back Sado Zabdos will take over the closing part. Of course as our safe switch we're gonna use Jellicent but with a simple twist. I'm not gonna use Surf at all and trust me when I say this that was a mistake. Uh, we're gonna use uh, we use it with uh, Ice Beam over Surf and of course this is not gonna work that well. I have I had a plan in my head, I was thinking that Ice Beam could work much better against the Flyers but of course I saw no Flyers at the back which was kinda problematic for me. Uh, anyways, I'm having now Virision coming in into the fight and we're having uh, the Magnezon here. So Magnezon without Flash Cannon will not be that much of a big deal for us. We can easily take it out with our Double Kicks and of course now Stone Edge will thread the Golisopod. Another thing that I figured out is that a lot of trainers are using Golisopod. I don't know why but still, uh, this Pokemon is very good for the meta, I understand it but not that much since now we can go in with our Zapdos and try trying to do some solid work. Uh, at the back they're having a Zekrom and of course this is kinda problematic for me. However here they are gonna get to the move and hopefully for me look at that they are gonna unleash the power of the wild charge which means now that we can one shot them down with the drill pack and of course one more to secure the victory against the Golisopod. I know what you're thinking Ganeto you were pretty lucky here if they were gonna go for something like a crunch or a fusion bolt things could be over for you but still I might be able to one shot down with the Zap Cannon because this move is absolutely amazing from the Zapdos and you're gonna see it in action pretty soon. Uh, so let's see what we got going on into the next one because this trainer has a Swambert and they're going for those Hydro, cannon, hydro Cannons. Perhaps they do not have Sludge Wave which is pretty understandable and seeing that they're staying in I'm just gonna throw in there my Jellicent because I want to preserve my Virizion for the end game. Whatever remains at the back must be weak to my Virizion so that's why they are not switching out. At least that was the plan so let's see how this trainer will do because they have another Hydro Cannon and we are already on the red. Swambert how many Hydro Cannons did you do? I definitely lost count. 7, 6, something like it. So Basil at the back and of course we have to throw the Shadow Ball however I get a little bit too greedy here and down I go to the superpower. Of course now Shadow Zabdos can go in and start farm farming down some crucial energy while we can and still pressure for the one shot against the puzzle. They want to shield. What could you have at the back? Uh, so it is gonna be the superpower. Uh, but this time I'm pretty sure I can tank one. So I'm just gonna let that go through. And because this is no lands at all, I'm not gonna switch out. Drill pack now to finish off the puzzle before they unleash the, the next move. It is gonna be the amazing Pidgeot at the back. Zap Cannon is imminent. One shot down. Of course, Thunderbolt could do the same. But with Zap Cannon, you get that extra feeling. Uh, so now into the next one and we're having Golisobot once again. So Golisobot is a pretty tricky lead but still kinda manageable with a Stone Edge from your region and this is one of the few reasons that you are gonna need uh, that uh, Stone Edge over Leaf Blade for your region. Of course Secret Sword will be your main way to go uh, but uh, for the second move I really recommend Stone Edge for the Flyers and perhaps the back types like Golisobot. Uh, we're having now the Shadow Ball on that uh, Charizard and then Unfortunately here we have to spend a shield so uh, the reason that I like Surf more on Jellicent is the fire types is that you, is that you get uh, a little bit more play against certain threats so that's why you definitely need Surf on your Jellicent and as you're seeing I also have a 100% Jellicent which means that this team doesn't require a lot of excels to build up. For Sato Zapdos and Virision you definitely need no excels, for Jellicent you need just a little bit of excel uh, powering up this Pokemon. Uh, but still you can play it with a handle and be just fine. Able to land a big drill pack on the goalie support but this is ultra league after all anything can survive pretty much anything else so uh, we can easily farm down at the back they have the return of the blaze again but we don't care at all drill pack is imminent. One for the shield one for the knockout and they're gonna take the first one so yeah they absolutely surrendered to the power of Zapdos. 
Uh, another goalie support. What are you doing, Ganeto? Only goalie supports on this video? Well, kinda. Uh, we're gonna have now uh, the RLAs on our Pokemon, and then it hit me. This Pokemon with RLAs can be pretty deadly to our Virision. So, overall, it's not that great of a lead for your Virision. You can definitely lose to that Pokemon if they happen to land the RLAs like they do over here. And at this point, we're having another Zekrom, this time with Fusion Ball, the correct move. Uh, so, we're just gonna keep pressure and this is one of the few uh, scenarios that you're gonna need Ice Beam but not from that range I'm just gonna go ahead and go for the Ice Beam perhaps I revealed my moveset but it is no harm to me because I can still land the Shadow Ball on the Magneson but the battle is not over yet we still have one Pokemon at the back that is severely weak to the Magneson and of course Virizion coming in with, a no with not a lot of HP left uh, the goalie support now will use Liquidation on on our Zapdos, we can still handle the damage because this is Ultra League. Another liquidation. All I want to do is to farm up to a double drill pack one for the Magneson, one for the uh, Goalie support. But they end up shielding, which gives me a little bit of hope here if we can win the CMP with our Virision against the Magneson. But we cannot do it, they are already there. And of course, Magneson has a higher attack stat uh, than our Virision. And then we go to the Mirror Shot on a very close battle, well played to my opponent. Uh, so we'll run now into the next one and this is kinda tricky I know what you're thinking once again Ganeto another good lead for you well it's not a good lead we can also do a lot of damage with the second shot but of course they can always outspeed us to the second move so yeah you're gonna see that we are not in a very good situation at all uh, right now they're having the Charizard coming in able to absorb my second sword pretty nice cuts if you ask me I was not expecting the switch right after the wall rain and at this point I'm just gonna go for that uh, Shadow Ball once again we need to have Surf on our Jellicent however they, they are taking the Shadow Ball and we spend a little bit more energy than the Surf but still gonna do the job correctly uh, they have at the back uh, uh, the Obstagoon and I have to get to those Ice Beams no matter what uh, and this Obstagoon is pretty troublesome for my backline because even Zapdos cannot handle it that easily uh, not even with a Thunderbolt because a Zap Cannon might just seal the deal but they still have two shields left I know that if this is gonna be just a Night Slash we can survive with this just gonna try to uh, suck some energy with my Virision and now it's all up to the Shadow Zapdos to uh, finish off of the remaining HP of those two Pokemon. Wolverine goes in, we got to respect the damage from the Icicle Spear, able to one shot us down I believe, so at this point I'm just gonna go ahead sealed here and try to commit to the farm down. Doing so we have so much energy to spare and perhaps this double drill pack will seal the deal up against the Obstagoon, one for the seal and one for the knockout, let's get that sweet victory trainers with the Obstagoon getting out of the way, amazing victory for Sado Zapdos. Virision against Exeggutor, horrible lead, we have to get out of there, we have nothing to throw on this Pokemon and they do super effective damage with their amazing attack stat. Uh, so Exeggutor is pretty tricky, however we still got Shadow Ball here and once again you do not need Ice Beam at all, Ice Beam is only for Pidgeots I think, but I was hoping to see more Pidgeots, I did not see any of those. Uh, so Shadow Ball now able to connect and take out this uh, Executor. At the back they have a Swambert and they go immediately for the Hydro Cannon. You know what, I can easily survive this and still reach to the Shadow Ball. Of course if they block here we might be in deep trouble but they end up taking in. I'm gonna switch out to that Virision and they have at the back a Pidgeot. Why did they not switch out to the Pidgeot before? So they read my team correctly and all of a sudden we have a lose con here. Uh, because they can easily farm down, get out of here with a lot of energy remaining, but of course we got the shield and the stand of a loose con that I said before, we might be in a very good position if we can predict the move correctly here, and yes we can, just the feather dance, let's go trainers, just gonna reach now to the drill pack, but will they survive here? I believe they will, uh, so yeah, after the debuff, that debuff is crazy, uh, from the feather dance we're not gonna be able to finish them off right on time, once again calling the bait, and now the drill pack with the shield remaining will be the ultimate knockout against this trainer. What a magnificent bait they did twice, but still we did the better call here and went for that extra mile and called the bait. Into the final one now against a waterfall version of... Uh, 
a fair alligator. Uh, you know what? I'm just gonna let go through. It is not gonna be a nice mode or anything. Just a grant which we can resist. And second sword here is gonna do a lot of work. I think they were trying to bait for a nice beam, but it did not work at all for them. Uh, so at this point, they have at the back the place again with the overheat. What was that? And of course, props to them. This is a spicy team. Uh, normally, I do not showcase battles like this, but this one was pretty fun to showcase. That's why I'm gonna do it. We're having the overheat once again on the jelly. And of course, we have more to throw with our Shadow Ball. Uh, Shadow Ball here will take the second shield out of the way. Once again, you need Surf over anything else for your jelly. Uh, Shadow Ball number three or two will take out their Pokemon. They have at the back the Ferrari which returns but at this point we can easily farm down if we spend the shield what do you have at the back because we have a zap cannon ready to go it is gonna be the roserade how much damage this is resisted oh my goodness over 90% of damage and still able to farm down with the Thundershocks. That was a magnificent ending that definitely deserves a like from you trainers. Also, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you are new around here. And of course, uh, you can check any of these two videos that might be just of interest to you. If you want to support even more, just feel free to go ahead and become a member on my channel because you can give me more courage and more motivation to go ahead and do more videos like this. Thank you for watching trainers and I hope to see you all into the next one.